All right. Let's just uh, play Tomb Raider Remastered. I had already played the first game on the stream, but I'm willing to replay the first game uh, in the remaster because yeah, I did enjoy it enough, and it's uh, the, the 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 game looks improved enough for me to want to replay the first. So here we can switch between the three games. Got two more. And three. Laura's home game. Got new game and unfinished business expansion. Yeah, the music in the menu is nice. Let's first get used to the uh, controls at Lara's home. Now there is a way to toggle the graphics and the controls between modern and classic. Welcome to my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. Don't really Use the remember. To go into the music room. So with F1, we can change the graphics. See the difference. So for the purists out there, we can still play in OG graphics mode. And even the frame rate is like the same as the OG. That's pretty cool. Even the frame rate is retained. Um, then we've got, where's the controls as well? There is photo mode. So if you want to make photos of in the game or of Lara, then you can make photos. Uh, was there controls maybe in the options? Between classic and new controls. There's outfits, but you need to unlock them. That sound control. Modern controls, tank controls. So now we have the OG tank controls that you have to play with the arrows like this, right? There was always back in the day People saying that there was a cheat to get Lara nude. You see the difference is uh, you know, for the purists, they can play it OG style. So yeah, you can change the controls back to OG tank controls. The modern controls are nice as well. But with modern controls, I can move the camera like this. Use WASD. It's very nice. Uh, I'm gonna play with modern controls because it definitely is a lot more comfortable. But look at the difference here in the graphics. It looks very nice. Like first you had this triangle thing and then boop, nice and smooth. So it's like actual new models everywhere. Uh, that's a big difference. It looks a lot nicer. And of course, famous Lara square boobs. <laughs> the square, we can get close up here. Look, the square, the, the square square pointy boobs of uh, the past and uh, poke a hole into things and now they are actually round see have actually been made round okay let's do some tumbling press the jump button 
Now press it again and quickly press one of the directions and I'll jump that way. How do I do a sideways jump? I guess I can't do a we'll just jump where I'm And I do like Yeah, exactly. I remember how the tutorial you can do side and back jumps, but I wanna see if I can still do a backflip. I could do. So if I hold alt, she will do like a dive. Yeah, it would be cool if I could do the side jumps as well. Maybe there's a way to do it. But... Oh, wait, with middle. No, 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 she jump doesn't jump. Also another bug kill. Yeah, alt, and then you gotta hold the direction and press. Nope, if I do sideways, it just goes like that direction. Maybe there's a way. Like, uh, it's not going to be the worst thing if there's not a way to do that, but it's nice to just see. E, maybe with E. Yeah, so I guess it can only work if you switch back to tank controls. Too bad. Oh well. Camera is definitely very nice. Ah, uh, the main hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage and the delivery people haven't been yet. Here's the uh, volume pretty low. Maybe I lowered it when I tested the game because I had tested it. Yeah, definitely understandable. The tank controls were still not bad, but definitely for me a bit more comfy now. Faster paced. But yeah, I did play the original with tank controls as well. And while still pressing forward, press action and I'll vault up onto it. Alright, so it's not action, just also just jump. Walk to the edge. Oh, the lower ones. Still not action. Oh, left mouse button. Okay, if you hold left mouse button, you will actually hold on. That's good to know. So if I am on an edge, I'm holding, she will grab on if I happen to fall. That's very useful to know. Oh, 
least when I'm properly on it. One thing that does worry me though, like usually you would do this, and then like you would tap back to do a backwards jump, or do two steps back to have the distance, but now it doesn't seem like it. Because you'd want to do a running jump, but because that one goes faster, but. Maybe I'd have to time it myself with the jumps now, but we'll see. Okay. This used to be the ballroom, but I've converted it into my own personal gym. What do you think? Well, let's do some exercises. Gym. I don't actually run everywhere. When I want to be careful, I walk. Hold down the walk button and walk to the... With the walk button down, I won't fall off even if you try to make me. If you want to look around, press and hold the look button. Then press in the direction you want to look. Head banging. <laughs> if a jump is too far for me, I can grab the ledge and save myself from a nasty fall. Walk to the edge with the white line until I won't go any further. Then press jump immediately, followed by forward, and while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button. Press forward and I'll climb up. If I do a running jump, I can make a jump like that, no problem. Walk to the edge with the white line until I stop. Then let go of walk and tap backwards to give me a run up. Yeah, now I can't do press that. Press forward and almost immediately press and hold the jump button. I won't actually jump until the last minute. Like I can still do this. I'd have to time to jump myself, basically. Right, this is a really big one. To do a running jump exactly as before, except while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button to make me grab the ledge. <coughs> Failed. So I guess there's a bit more skill in the jumping, at least. Nice. <laughs> Try to vault up here. I can't climb up because the gap is too small. But press right, and I'll shimmy sideways until there is room. Then press forward. <laughs> Tap backwards, and I'll jump off backwards. Immediately press and hold the action button, and I'll grab the ledge on the way down. Yeah, exactly. You had a lot of assist with the tank controls. Now you got to time it a lot better, so that's going to be at least a Let's new challenge. Let's go for a swim. The jump button and the directions move me around underwater. Swimming is awesome. Feels nice. Ah, <sighs> oh, air. Just use forward and left and right to maneuver around on the surface. Press jump to dive down for another swim about. Or go to the edge and press action to climb out. Look at her hair physics in the water. Right, now I'd better take off these wet clothes.
Okay. Is there a difficulty selection in this game? What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does, from Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? No, the cannot change the cutscene graphics. These are pre-rendered. Yeah, they are the OG. Guns. Yeah. Bubs. Yeah, I wonder as well. Don't rem I did test it out, but I don't remember how it was. I think it was still automatic. Secret here, right? <coughs> what 
look, that's 3D as well. Normally you get a 2D sprite, no 3D mode. Get to him. Oh, lost a little bit of health from that jump. Hello. See how that goes. Well, it's a good thing I already played this game, so. Still got kind of auto lock on you. And strafe now though while aiming, that's pretty cool. Sort of. Almost looks like she's gonna do a face plant. <laughs> Definitely adding to the atmosphere here. With the plants here. We have this and the actual plants. Yeah, pretty cool. The atmosphere is definitely nice. I mean, the original also had good atmosphere, but they definitely maintained it in a good way. Oh, look, they even added hair, see? Here's just the ceiling, and here there's like a little hole with light coming out. But they added like more things there. That's pretty cool. Nice attention to detail. Little extra piece of detail. Yeah, exactly. So that's cool that they added that. It's like, oh, it's not very realistic that it's like lit up here, right? Like, where's the light coming from? Here, it's like, oh well, there's a light source now. Aligning yourself with the switches was also pretty annoying originally. Uh, pretty easy to do now. Like, I don't mind the tank controls, but it definitely did take up extra time. It was a lot slower and clunkier. Uh, not trouble, but it would take a bit l longer to do so. I'd often have to do some side steps a little bit. Yeah, sure, we'll check the... One's laying on its back. The head is in the snow, but that's yeah, pretty much stayed the same, detailed. Hmm. 
pretty true to the original as well. Looks good. Got pretty icicle. Yep, no more sprites, just like with the items. So I can also do a jump and then, no, not like that, but yeah, I can basically enter photo mode at any moment. I want to do during the jump. The jump. Yeah. We am flying. Oh no, her hair goes through the thing. It's not realistic at all. Flower as a bird. Yeah, so here as well, there's a lot of light. light. And then it's like, well, let's add like a light source here. They add it. Hard to see because of the leaves, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, derpy eyes. Down bats. Do you want to get this remaster as well now? Or will you stick with the originals? Nice. 
What about the graphics? Will you play the OG? Or the new one? Or they also added a... How are you gonna play with both? Two separate playthroughs, one with new, one with old graphics? Nine in a row. Yeah, that makes sense. See the traps. Oh. How do I tumble in this? Clearly a 2D texture there. <laughs> Our shit's about to get serious when we do music. I only found one secret. One kilometer. These are nice screenshots. You could have a screen as a computer backgrounds, desktop backgrounds. Combat is definitely not necessarily easier. Oh, 
another light. No, I can lock two others automatically by looking at them, I think. I definitely didn't release at all. I think. Not sure what you mean. I just hold right mouse button to take out my guns and then she will just auto aim on whatever's in front of me. Uh oh. Yeah, definitely in pretty much any area where there's light. Here again. Even added that rubble to make it look like it was damaged over time. Oh look, we can do during aiming. So oh, during aiming we can do this. We couldn't do that during the tutorial because we didn't have guns, but now we can do it. Mystery solved.
like a pushable wall. Oh, it's a door that will open later, I think. Open it then. Swimming is very smooth. Oxygen. Oh, oh. Can't find oxygen. Saved. all the F keys. No. 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 Let's no. Your weapons. Oh, that's a quickie for healing. Didn't go in there last time. Tiger skin. the skulls here so normally you would have these 2d blocks and now you actually get like 3d skulls in this wall
golden statue thingy. There's the key. So what? So they enlarged it now. You can see the keys a lot better. Ah, okay. So they made the keys standing up now. Easier to see. That's good. Yeah, I yeah the the lighting holes here they're like not just simple holes they add a detail to it like the wooden panels there and stuff like that they really and like foliage like the leaves and stuff they really put a lot of care and attention into it really appreciate it. Key. There was a key hole somewhere. I'll have to find it. Where the other keyhole at? I did see it earlier, but... Definitely a lot brighter with the OG graphics. Something crazier. Oh. Oh, 
brought the darkness out said mr I, you know it, we're in the fucking tombs and shit it's supposed to be dark here for the most part like the og you see it's a lot brighter here and then now it's like ooh, darkness Gotta jump more to evade. Oh, that went to DVDs and Blu-rays later, right? For space. Yeah, if you buy a physical PC game, you usually just get a fucking download code for Steam or something. Or activation code for Steam. Definitely the crappiest thing about my Doom Eternal uh, physical PC release. Like, oh, I got Doom Eternal on PC and it was literally a cardboard CD with a code on it. In the steelbook, so that's disappointing. There are still websites that sell physical big box PC games though, for like indie games and stuff. So if you ever want physical games, I recommend websites like, I believe, Indie Box, one of them is called. Music is very nice. They kept the music the same. Definitely aged very well. So nice. I really love the music. Like, I only played the demo of this game back in the day. So like, only the first level or something I played that before I got mauled by a bear. So, I'm not that nostalgic for this game, but holy shit, the music sounds so good. I wish I could feel more nostalgia, because this already feels nostalgic, even though I didn't really play much of it. Yeah, it sounds so nice. <laughs> yeah, the music is good, right? Get up here, no? Goodies. I have like similar ish vibes with like a lot of other games from this era, like Metal Gear Solid 1, for example. 
I guess a similar graphics to Metal Gear Solid 1, kind of. The early low poly 3D models. Late 90s, early 2000s. I used to hate low poly 3D like this, but I started liking liking it more and more. In the years. Thanks to Metal Gear Solid and Resident Evil. Imagine if Resident Evil 1 and 2 and 3 would get remastered like this as well. Where you can switch between OG and Classic and they actually improved, made the mood good as well. And you get like slightly better controls maybe as option. I know they made remakes, but you know, remasters would also be good. And Dino Crisis. I also heard of another game similar, by the way, which was like more in space. What was that called again? No, not that space. It was basically like Resident Evil 1 and Dino Crisis, but in space. Similar era. Yeah, hold on, I'll find it in a moment. I'm looking through my YouTube history, but I can't find it. No way was that far ago. It was literally the same era as Resident Evil 1 and Dino Crisis. It was on PS1.
so weird. I'll just Google something. I found it. Yeah. I think I found it. Yep, found it, found it. They're like, fuck do I? I think there's nope. There's no items up here. I thought maybe. Nope. This is the first one, but remastered. You can switch between OG and old graphics. And we can also switch between tank controls and modernized controls. And with modernized controls, it feels a lot more comfortable to play. And I'm willing to replay this one because I did really enjoy this game. And with more modern controls, it's definitely a lot more playable as well. And a lot faster pacing as well. So I'm digging it. You've never seen or heard of it. How do you think it looks there? Cut them back. No! What is this fucking Spear of Destiny? Gotta fucking heal. Was the heal button? <sighs> that is the big heal or the small heal? Oh, copy that slayer. Yeah, it definitely looks interesting to me as well. Oh, original Spear of Destiny at Mutants. I guess I'm confused between... I thought Wolf 3D at Mutants and Spear of Destiny had bats, but I guess... It was only the expansions. Yeah, I forgot I had expansions, goddamn, with the blue guns, right? Fuck, I remember that now. God, that was some shit. Fucking blue guns, fucking nerf guns, fucking... Wait, this didn't open? Ah oh, crap, I wasn't paying attention. What happened with the last uh, switch? Did anyone remember? Because I was distracted what happened when I pressed the last switch. The Spear of Destiny expansions of blue guns. Two expansions, I believe. Right. 
crap, no one knows what happened. Oh shit. You haven't played the expansions? Oh, you would have. God. Oh god. Nope, there are expansions. Fucking soft lock now. Well, I can get here, but how do I align myself here? Nope. Actually, the Jet Spear of Destiny expansions. Turn around on the spot like that. That's... Uh, I might have to look in my fucking recording what the fuck happened when I pulled the switch. Maybe I can press it again. Up, save. Because I do hear something nearby. I thought the middle door would open, but... Uh oh. Oh, I guess I'm an idiot and I didn't press it. Oh god! Oh, double fuck, god. Ah! Ah, burr! So again, here they added air again. Very nice. Because in the original game, for some reason, ceilings give off light, even though there's like no light source. And in the end, they in the, in the remaster they opened it up to make it look better. Very nice. So we need the thing. This stuff. I gotta find the switch. There's a hole I can dive through. So are you gonna play the Spear of Destiny expansion, Slayer? I know you're the biggest Wolfenstein 3D fan I know. Is it built in the one in Steam? I think. Should have the expansions as well. Did it not? 
Maybe I'm just dumb, but... Camera. Chill out, camera. The odd. <laughs> so, do you want to play him now? <laughs> I knew it. I'll do a double check maybe to see where they should they are playable. Ugh. Do you play the Wolf 3D games in DOS or do you play like with a source port? Oh right, I forgot. No wait, on Steam Steam works without DOS? DOS box. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no. Oh wait, why is that? Weird. I thought it does DOS box. But that's what I was asking, if you prefer to play through DOSBox or are using a source port. <laughs> it's actually coming back in our water though. Okay. Oh crap. Again. I think there was a way to make the water current stop, right? Or am I just dumb? I forgot if I have to go up here or not.
Skellington. Is this where we get to the dinos? Wasn't there a giant T-Rex there as well? Yeah. Jesus, I did it. Mm, I did not know that. I've never played the second game, I believe. Do you want to see the T-Rex or should we save it for the next stream? Normally we'd have like the darkness here, but now it's like I think it was like under the cave as well. That looks pretty good, right? All right. I'll t uh, check out if the expansions were going to again. How do I exit game? <laughs> oh, here. Here's your, here's the same song again. The music is very nice. But yeah, thank you all for coming over. I close this. Oh, I'll start with it. Yeah, uh... Hopefully I'll feel a lot better today. I'm feeling less shit than I was in the afternoon. Yeah, I'm just anxious about seeing fucking coaches again. Uh, all the crap that happened. Gonna have to see how it goes. But yeah, everyone has a wonderful night. And I'll see you all tomorrow, I think. Take care, have a good one.